Hello everybody, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a very simple minecart loader and unloader. I just want to say that the minecart loader unloader that we are making today is not the same one that I made in Truly Bedrock for the slime farm. So this is the design that I use. It is a completely different build and serves a different purpose. So the purpose of this one is to be wired up under your farm. For example, let's go ahead and throw our slime down onto the track like that. That would pick up all of our slime from the farm and then this minecart completely unloads into the chest and then takes off once again. So if you are interested in this build, I will have a link to this in the description below and there will also be a card popping up in the top right corner. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Now let's go ahead and continue on. This minecart loader unloader is designed to transfer items into your furnace array or in this case your XP storage furnace array. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. What we would have here is some sort of furnace room. Now it doesn't have to look just like this. This is just a simple setup just for demonstration. But what we would do, let's place our ore inside. All of that will filter down into our hopper minecart. And then all we do is press this button here. And then it is going to distribute all of our ore into the furnaces. So that is loading in just like that. And once this hopper minecart is completely empty, you can see right now it is going back and forth because it still has items inside. But once this hopper minecart completely empties, it is going to stop. So at this point, we can go ahead and add in more ore if we would like to, or we can just let it run its course. But once it's all empty, it's going to come to a stop and then it's all ready to be loaded again. Now to make this simple and easy minecart loader and unloader, you are going to need a 7x2 area, and this 7x2 area is only going to cover the redstone circuit. So it's not going to include our furnace array that we placed in right here, just the redstone circuit alone. And to make that, what we're going to need is a detector rail, a rail, a set of powered rails, a comparator, two redstone repeaters, two redstone dust, a lever, a stone button, a hopper minecart, a chest, and then your building blocks. And then of course you are gonna need an X amount of rails and all that to wire up to your furnace room. With that being said, if you wanna pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. To get things started, what we're gonna do is build our rail. So let's go ahead and grab a block, come all the way to the left, place down a block right here with a stone button on the front. Next, go ahead and grab your powered rail and place your powered rail right there a rail right next to it and then grab your detector rail and place your detector rail right there. Now what we want to do is come a block up like this and then another block up like that. Grab your powered rail once again, place one here, one here, and then from here you run it to wherever you'd like. So in this case we ran it into some furnaces right over there. At this point it's really up to you where it goes. Again this is just for example and we'll go ahead and stop it right there. Now what you want to do is grab your lever and anywhere up here go ahead and place on your lever, turn that on and this will power your powered rails like that. So the rail system is all set up. Now what we want to do is grab our hopper minecart, place it down right there, temporary block here and then your chest right there. We can knock that out and there we go, there is the foundation to the build. For the redstone circuit what we're going to do is grab our comparator and right behind this block right here run your comparator out from the block like that. Next, run that comparator into a block like this. Come around to the back side here, place down redstone dust right there, and then run that redstone dust into a repeater and set that to four ticks. Next, we wanna run that repeater into a block right here. Repeater running out, leave it set to one tick, redstone dust, and then a block right there. And believe it or not, that is the redstone all finished. Now that this build is finished, let's go ahead and take a look at how the redstone works behind the build. So once this is empty, as you saw, it is going to stop. So we're going to send an empty minecart up and it's going to come back and stop. But if we throw items in like this, we're going to send it on its way. That would go and start depositing all the items. And as you see here, this is going to keep going back and forth until we take all the items out or all the items have completely emptied into the furnaces. So this has stopped. Now what's going on here, once we place the items inside, this comparator here is going to detect the items that's inside the minecart once it crosses this detector rail, 
and that is going to fire all this redstone right here. So you will notice it happens pretty quickly, but before the minecart gets back, the redstone actually shuts off, and this is timed in such a way that once it gets back, the redstone is going to fire and then send the minecart back on its way. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. It's off, and then it turns back on and sends the minecart on its way. As for the reason why the minecart stops when there's nothing left inside, that is very simple. If we press the button here, because there are no items inside the minecart, this comparator is not going to detect anything, and therefore we are not going to get any redstone output through here, which is going to power the power rail once again. So it's going to shut off and then stay off until we fill it back up and then send it out on its way once again. And there you have everyone, a simple and easy minecart loader and unloader on Bedrock Edition. And again, this type of minecart loader unloader is perfect for a furnace array or your furnace room. So as you saw how we put it to use, it is going to distribute all of the ore as you saw. And once it is completely empty, it is going to return back to where it came from. So this is a perfect build for a furnace room or anything like that. But with that being said, everyone, this is the end of today's redstone tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'll see you later.